I got inspired recently by a social media post from Kirsch Drums in Portland and by something that Tony from GMS Drums has told me for a long time, which is the little rubber gaskets on drums are not helping tone. So the other day I took the gaskets off that hammered Superphonic from Ludwig and it made a huge difference. So I wanted to actually document what that difference is with another drum. So I have this Ludwig six and a half by 14 Super. It's a seamless brass shell, 10 lugs. This particular one has brass hoops top and bottom as well. And the drum, as you can see, has the little gaskets. And it also has the plastic washer. So I'm gonna do everything in my power to tune this drum after I take it apart, take all the gaskets off, put the heads back on to this pitch. And let's see if I can actually document that difference that I heard plain as day on that hammered superphonic. Heads on this drum are by Aquarian. That's a texture coated high frequency on top with power dot underneath and a regular classic clear snare side underneath with just stock 20 strand snare wires. Here's where the drum is currently. Batter side. And snare side. All day is to leave my drill at home. Gasket number one off. Casing goes back on just fine. No need for additional spacers. Last one, that took about 10 minutes. The next, I'm going to get rid of the little plastic rod washers. And I'll put back together. One issue that was brought up, which I'm not seeing as being a problem, is that the tension rods without the gaskets fit the drum just fine. They splay out a tiny bit, but you know, that's what the swivel nuts are for. Here's one thing you may be thinking that I am as well, which is Dylan, why didn't you play this drum with the rubber gaskets on before you took them off? Um, Cause I forgot. So here's an older video of what the drum sounded like with the rubber gaskets, same heads, probably the same tuning or very close. Back in the 90s, there was a custom drum maker named Gaither. I don't know anything more about them, but they were making really interesting snare drums with some really cool details, one of which they were making their own tension casings, and a point that they brought out in, an, in a modern drummer article was that they tightened the tension casing so tightly to the shell, on a wood shell, that it would actually compress the wood. They wanted the every vibration to travel you know instantly from the head through the rest of the drum to just really activate the whole shell and i feel like in a lot of ways that's what i've done i've removed any any kind of rubber insulation or vibration dampener on this drum so it's just all metal to metal contact and let's see what it sounds like on the drum set <laughs> metal stair drums with rubber backings from here on out. Of course, I'm going to save the old parts, you know, just in case for some reason I want to put them back on. I'm not sure why I would, but I recognize this is not a terribly controlled experiment, but I really did dig that the drum felt just more open and resonant and, uh, and I can feel it speak better. You know, just the vibrations are going through the drum. So I'm definitely going to keep the gaskets off. Now I'm going to do a little more controlled experiment. I had the Tama Brass Mighty Hoops on there, which I've had for a long time. They seem to fit the drum nicely, but sometimes I feel like it's making the drum a little too dark. So I'm gonna put the original nickel over steel hoops that came with the drum back on and do a very careful test, you know, matching the tuning, A, B, and let's see what it sounds like now.
I personally dig the drum with the steel hoops. These Tama brass hoops are a little too dark for an already sort of dark metal, so I'll save them for something else. But uh, I'm glad I did this experiment. It doesn't take much time, and of course I've saved all the parts. If I want to restore it exactly back to the way it came from the factory, that's a very easy thing to do. Thanks for watching. I hope you found this useful, and happy drumming. Yeah.